Hey everyone, welcome to Venture Ventures, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. I'm Jake, the Dungeon Master. Uh, this is going to be episode 34, and we are well into the adventure now, deep into hell. The new party, uh, which we got to know a little bit more last episode in terms of combat. Um, last episode... They were heading to a wrecked flying fortress, which is a a dagger-shaped infernal ship, and investigating it for the nine adamantine rods that were supposedly there. They got this information from a uh, Sibriex and uh, started making their way. They had a choice of flying to the top or making their way from the bottom... <laughs> cat just gave me the dirtiest look typical cat face though um they made their way through the ship internally and ran into some bone whelks which are large snail type things with bones on their back and a necrotic remoraz making its way through some large intake pipes inside the ship and uh you're you think you're pretty pretty high up in the ship now um and uh yeah there's you've got a little um we left off with you guys defeating the remoraz i believe and uh there's a hatch in the corner of one of the room of the room specifically leading up with the ladder uh to the next floor which may or may not be the top floor. Well, did we How's check everyone this feeling room? after that? I'm a little beat up. How's our barbarian looking? He's bloodied, but doing okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a third level cure wounds. I'm going to give myself a fourth. Yeah, I figured you selfish. Could, you could you could manage that. When I said how's everyone looking, it's how's everyone except, except for Horton me. looking. I'm looking beautiful. <laughs> Just floating around. Twenty one points of healing to you, Damn. sir. Damn. I did mine a level higher and only got twenty. I got some good rolls. One, two of them. Thank you. Thank you. Looking real good. Just just a little scratch left. Uh, bum, bum. Just in case we uh, see another one of those up that hatch or those flying things see us. Well, I'll go up first if everyone's ready. Allow me, sir. Nope. By thank all you means. as a thank you for the healing. And I make my way up the hatch. Uh, and I'll go up behind him. Up the hatch, you enter a 15 by uh, 15, approximately, uh, room. Uh, jagged gashes in the outer wall allow the hellish sky of Avernus to light this room. An open hatch in the floor, which is what you're coming through. Um, and a metal console is plugged into one wall on the, uh, as you walk up, you see it's plugged in. And then there's an iron door leading somewhere else uh i go over to the console okay you go um, over to the door i look you... for adamantine rods so so uh this this console basically looks like a think of a filing cabinet with a bunch of switches and buttons on it uh do you a want plug? to plug it's it's plugged in to the wall. So do you want to do anything or are you just looking at it? Um, do I get any sense of what these different switches do? Make a Arcana check. Ooh, got bad Arcana. I figured. Gabby's best feature. Ooh, Arcana check. what a good roll. Minus. Uh, <laughs> minus one. <laughs> 18. <laughs> nice. Um, you're not sure 
what it does, but you think it's probably connected to the whole ship. Whoa. I did not know I had that in me. But I think this console is connected to the entire ship. Maybe you saw it some in your past life before you died. <laughs> I don't know. You're a Do you know how to use it? Well, I, I think mean, it... I, I think it switches and buttons, so... <clears throat> so this this building we're in is like used to be mobile at some point yeah yeah it was like a battleship uh yeah yeah there's like a console up here it uh i think it controls the whole ship it's have like a map or anything you guys want me to like just flick a switch and see what it does yeah i just yeah just pick a brand of switch at random Okay, roll a d4 for me. <laughs> Two. Uh, you hear heavy metal, like, guar-type music echo through the ship. Just unintelligible roaring and screaming. It, it's discordant in some places. It's it's very loud. <laughs> Turn it off! I, Keep it on! This is rocking! I, <laughs> They're gonna know we're here! What kind yeah. of switch is it? Is it just a one-way? Like, it yeah, only yeah, is, like it's a, either like a off boop, or on? Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Yeah, like a flapper switch. The it's technical like a, term is a like flapper a dial switch. that I can change, change <laughs> no. the station on. No. no. You just keep it going? Well, now yeah. that we, we know what that one does. Um, while he was investigating the panel, I went over to the door and uh, with my trunk, I start sniffing around the edges of the door. Sure, um, make a perception and, check. And then listening, but mostly sniffing. Well, which one are you doing first? Sniffing. Okay. Because cause elephants totally sniff with their trunk. Yep. It's a 16. <laughs> um, you smell like Nothing outrageously funky. What what we would understand as like an electrical burnt smell. Okay, it's not outrageously funky. I'm gonna crack the door and take a peek. Okay. Um, from inside this room, sparks rain down from torn holes in the ceiling, uh, falling down onto a pair of rectangular machines that have been torn from the walls. The machines now stand in the middle of the room. They're loose wires sticking out like bad hairdos. And these uh, are of a, they look different from the one in the previous room, but they also look like uh, metal file cabinets covered with switches and dials and stuff. Hey, Shabby, you have a knack for these. Come take a look. I don't think those work anymore. Oh, I go so... in, I go in there and I take a look. You would, um, you think you'd need to spend a good amount of time examining these if you're trying to examine what they do specifically. Uh, obviously, they do look not in original form, they do look damaged. Are they made out of adamantium? No, they are metal. Uh, and in addition, while I'm thinking of it, this whole deck, um, Iron surfaces, the floor, the walling, the walls, the ceilings uh, are all made of iron that's been twisted, bent, and ruptured in places. And the ceilings throughout are 15 feet high. Um, areas that are exposed to the outdoors are dimly lit by the hellish red sky of Avernus. Other than that, uh, in this room, you're fine with that because of the, the openings and stuff. And the whole fortress is on a a uh 20 degree angle um i would like to take a moment and concentrate and cast locate object on the on the adamantine rods okay what's the uh 1000 feet and uh i sense um, the direction to the object's location if it's in mo motion i know the direction of its movement and is there any specifics about lead and stuff like that 
Yes. The spell can't locate an object of any thickness of lead, even a thin sheet blocks a direct path between you and the object. Okay. <laughs> You're not picking anything up other than it's up. Like I told you in a previous episode. Perfect. That gives me something. Uh, in this room, there's no door. It leads out into a hallway. Uh, directly across from the open entryway to this room is another iron door. And well, gentlemen, uh, the hallway uh, goes off to the left. This is this wonderful soundtrack that we have for ourselves now, uh, but uh, up is the direction we need to go. This is the only direction we can go. Um, and I start slowly. I go back into the room and I, I flip the switch off and I turns off while he's flipping the switch we off serve we need to conserve uh energy while he's flipping the other switch off i use my mage hand to flip a different switch on okay roll a d4 <laughs> oh two roll again <laughs> two <laughs> i really want Just, to it's, two yeah. that's three twos <laughs> Shake your die around a bit more. Three. I did. Oh, I shook God. it in my hand like three uh, times. You hear a soothing female voice saying, Ajtanas is lechis, tash kraj kak nak, asmode das. Anyone speak infernal? Uh, I believe I do. Yes. Nope. Uh, you, in that uh, soothing female sounding voice, you hear, You are important. Promotion is your destiny. Asmodeus loves you. I just start laughing. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you laughing at? Didn't you just hear what it said? I don't speak infernal. How do you know that's infernal? Just kidding. Because everyone here speaks infernal. <laughs> right. <laughs> You've heard it a lot. And I, 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 I um, echo back what it said. It said, you are important. Promotion is your destiny. Asmodeus is your destiny. I might have messed that up. It's fine. You're close enough. Yeah. Promotion is your destiny. Asmodeus loves you. Yep. I nuked my notes. It sounds like you're on the come up. Though, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be too excited about Asmodeus' love. Well, to each their own, I suppose. This gives you kind of a weird love. Uh, yeah. But so... press is on. As I said, there's an iron door um, directly across from across the hallway from the room you're exiting. And then to the left, it opens up uh, into a larger, a very large room that's partially shorn off. A huge uh, piece of the ship has been shorn off, so that just kind of ends at a certain point, exposed to the infernal sky of Vernus. Yeah. Sniff the door. The one across? Yep. Uh, perception check. Uh, it's a nat 20 for a 28. On my um, You smell like a... a creature of some sort. Maybe a uh, dog. A fur-covered creature of some kind. Okay. Um, you, you also hear teeth just gnawing on a bone. Alright. Guys, guys, come come up, come up. There's something on the other side of this door. I say we rip it what? up and, and run in and make a lot of noise and it runs away. Or it What's on the other side of the door? Can you I don't smell know, it smells it kind of mangy. If it didn't run away from the heavy metal music, I don't know if noise is going to do it. Uh... Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we run in with noise and brandishing weapons. Okay. You run in, and you see a hyena-like creature in the corner opposite the door, chewing on a bone, kind of looks up. It, it looks, like, uh, aggressive and... and uh, I also make a blasting trumpet noise when I run in. Fair I enough. I cast, uh, uh, I cast speak with animals. Oh. Uh, when you do, um, what do you say? I go... It returns a, uh, <laughs> a, a 
similar noise, but it you get no like type of information from it other than that it's it's uh hungry and it's just chewing on this bone evidently i try to i this try to ask clean. it if, i try to ask it if there's any adamantine rods anywhere that it knows of <laughs> you get the closest approximation to a a heart monitor going beep. I think I killed it with that question, guys. It's not dead. It's just <laughs> kind of brain dead in that, like, you're not, it's not I mean, even paying uh, just, attention. It's, it doesn't, it's very focused on chewing I, on this clean bone. I try to just like, tell it, my last, tell it you know, to talk. not attack us. Yeah. I'm just want basically trying you. to make it really calm, like, like, bark, bark. Hmm, hmm. It's you really not attack. having a conversation with you. This is like very yeah. one-sided and it's not really reacting to anything you're saying. Uh, Balacros pops up from invisibility and says, I've seen nulls. Nulls are more, I don't know, more intelligent than this one, it seems like. Maybe it fell in the river sticks. I don't I know. I cast Minor Illusion, and I put a bone in Shabby's hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, it's very focused on the bone it has. Aww. Um, I stand there kind of confused for a second, because I came in with all fire and brimstone, and this thing doesn't seem to be giving us <laughs> the time of day. Like, I told you. Well, um, I, just, heavy metal I look at the bone in my hand, that. and I just say, very nice, sir. Very yeah. good minor it's illusion. Even looking at you guys, it's peeking up <laughs> every once in a while, but not even like. Is there, is there a door out of this room? Other than <laughs> like, well, I, there's a door on, right man. next to it, um, heading off to the east. Uh, yeah. I walk up to that door. You know what I do. Okay. <laughs> Sniff it. It leaves like a smear of. of trunk slime around the edge of the door uh 19 i uh, you smell something rotting inside you see me recoil a bit from the smell not a good one not a good one boys <clears throat> oh no that, that means not good probably not something dead or dying or undead or yeah it's that last one that's what i'm worried about and as you're at the door, you're like less than, you're about five feet away from this knoll yeah. in the corner. It's not even like, it's looking up and like weary that you're going to hit it or something, but it's not like aggressive. It's like very focused on the bone. That's it. I'm now not giving it any time of day. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you want to go through the door to this next room? Yes, I do. Okay, this dark room contains a metal console that is torn free of the wall to your right. Pinned between the console and another wall is a small desiccated winged devil that looks like it was crushed to death. In another corner stands a three-foot block of infernal iron, a locked safe with clawed feet and three-dial mechanism built into its thick door. Each dial bears numerals written in infernal. And uh, for the infernal reader, yeah, numbers. And above the dials, uh, there's in infernal. It reads three numbers the same, but double the double in sum. A hell of a prison. A roll of the die. A handful and one. I'm just gonna repeat that back to make sure I got it right. Three number, three numbers the same, but double in sum. A hell of a prison. A roll of a die. A handful in one. Yep. Cool. Um, also, I guess doing that, I also read it apart loud to my party. I'm the only one that speaks Infernal, right? Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, it was the second one. It looks like uh, dead. Just dead. <clears throat> well, that was the first one. Hmm. It was the first one. Just dead. I go over and look at the winged devil. 
Um, so he's desiccated. Desiccated. Does it look like he got anything, had anything on him when he died, or no? Just, just, just pretty a rough, corpse. unfortunate death. Gotcha. Smashed. Does the console look like compared to the ones we saw previously? Does it look like it's like smashed up and and dead, or does it look like it can be moved and just plugged back in? No, it looks pretty smashed pretty up. Okay. And what numbers are on the? What are the numbers that are actually on the safe on the three dials? Zero through nine. And each one has zero through nine? Each dial, yeah. Can you read the uh, description again? Three numbers? Three numbers, oh, the sorry. same, but double in sum. A hell of a prison, a roll of the die, a handful, and one. Well, I say we hit it. I mean, there's already marks all over it. What do you think that's going to accomplish? Uh, we hit it harder? Mm, I don't think that's going to work. Can uh, anyone here detect magic? I, can, I think I can dispel it. I don't know if I can detect it. Yeah, I can only dispel it. Uh, no, no, I cannot. Not not today, at least. Uh, Torm may bless me with it if I pray about it. Third level, right? First level. Is detect magic? Yeah. Dispel is a third. Oh. Uh, well, still don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't have it. Um, I will. Uh. <clears throat> Draco's just going to sit down and start thinking about the riddle. Or the hey. puzzle. Well, real character behind it actually figures it out. <laughs> um, I'm well, going to go ahead. How long and... do you want to... Uh, I'm going to say he sits and thinks about it for 15 minutes while I do it in real life. <laughs> okay. Brian? Um, I'm going to start, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down and I'm going to start occasionally clanking my gauntlets together as I ritually cast Commune mm -hmm. and try to reach out to Torm about the this. Commune is a yes, no, or it's don't know? Yes, no, three questions, yes or no. Um, or unsure. And it could be an unclear answer if a question pertains to information that lies beyond the deity's knowledge. Okay. Go ahead. Am I strong enough to break this safe? In your head, you imagine a gauntlet slapping the shit out of you in the face. <laughs> like you're stupid. <laughs> yep, I got that. Loud and clear. Okay. Right. Uh, <clears throat> am I smart enough to solve this riddle? <laughs> 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 you you get a a gauntlet in your mind's eye kind of going huh <laughs> awesome awesome shrug emoji got it um <clears throat> are you having a good day today <laughs> um I used to do this shit all the time with one of my <laughs> my uh, other DMs. Uh, sure it does sound like something you would uh, do. <laughs> I would I would always have a question that was just inane and stupid. Um, and now being, <laughs> it's always I've experienced it before, but it's always like why can why does it make me like why can't Jarring. I think of something? Yeah, um, he goes. Uh, it's kind of like a slow the gauntlet in your mind's eye just kind of comes together and just kind of slowly gives a thumbs up but it's not like a ah i gotcha those are my three questions well gentlemen torm is no help here uh i'm not sure i am either <laughs> but i will think about it um so one second
Gary I'm just the only one thinking about this riddle. No, I am too. No, I'm so, thinking about so, it. But... Just throwing some ideas out. I mean, we are in hell, hell of a prison. I'm thinking sixes, three numbers the same, six, 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 double the sum. Maybe adding those. Oh yes, you're right. Double the sum. The sum. The sum is eighteen. Almost. Double that to thirty six. That's yeah. three sixes. <laughs> So you, I think you just nailed the nailed it on the head. A uh, roll of the die, a handful in one. Yeah. Well, I have five fingers, so I'm not sure what that means. But try it. Give it a whirl. Okay. 30, but there's three dials. Six 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 six, 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 six. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. Okay. You turn the dials <laughs> carefully, lining it up with the marker at the top of the dial, so it's exactly on a six you feel like a after each number a really, really solid clunk from the dial really well made infernal machinery uh and you line all three numbers up with sixes and <laughs> <laughs> and it opens uh, <laughs> yes. nice. um, good job so how we uh, kill I really Trapped. like that, that <laughs> no. devils really take their craftsmanship seriously. That'll be the next room with the door. Yeah. Uh, ah, yes. yes. So um, you Luckily, open. You can smell power word kill. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the safe contains nine adamantine rods, each weighing oh. three pounds and engraved with runes. In Infernal, that you read as Solar Insidiator Lock, and each rod is numbered from one to nine. Well, uh, how many did he need? I believe he only needed six. Is that right? Nine. Nine. Oh, he wanted nine. Well, that's a shame. You said Solar Indicate in what was it? Insidiator lock. Yes. Pretty much phonetically spelled. And it's about this time you hear like go, yeah. clanking right. of talons coming down the hallway. And you hear Rah! Do we go back the way we came? Rah! Uh first let's throw these in our bag. <clears throat> do you, what do you think this solar incendiator lock is? Not the time. But what if it? I mean, Doesn't it's matter. always it light outside. What happens when they come in contact with light? Something might happen to them. Well, we're putting it in the bag. <clears throat> At this time, that a bunch of rocks b barge through the door in the antechamber to this room. Up, too late. Yeah. And uh, let's Sorry. roll initiative. <laughs> Damn it. I was more worried about what was going to happen to these. What the fuck is your character's name? Draco. <laughs> Draco. Six year. Six year ish. Oh, I can't because it'll mess up everything if I change it. Oh, my. It'll break the world. I think, yeah, like, I think Brian or Jake is uh, admin and can fix it. <gasps> I got a nat 20 uh, for 20. It's the best cleric role I've ever had. I got a mod 20 for 20. I got a nat one. Fifteen. Plus three. Okay, so it's a, oh, okay. If this were only my other character in my other game that had advantage. Uh, I assume Sweet we have not been in this happen. for eight hours. Correct. Cool. Uh, then I still have mage armor. The noises happen. Balacros goes invisible. Obviously. Of course he does. Why would he's he help a self-interested oh. devil. Kind of a jerk. Yep. All right. And the rock goes first. Wayne? Nice. 
Yeah, I'm on board. <laughs> so did I hear you correctly that you said the, the, the wall, the rocks of the wall came alive? No. You did not. <laughs> oh. Vrox, which were the flying vulture devils. Vrox, got it. Vrox. And there was, what, six of those? Outside, yes. Cool. Um, blah, blah, blah. Wayne the Vrock is up. It's going to emit a horrific screech very loud as it gets closer to you guys. And I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw. Ah, balls. 14. 15. That one. 14 and 15 pass. 13. 13 does not. Oh, ouch. Sir Jazzy and Shabby, you fail. And you are stunned until the end of the Vrock's next turn. I, I do smell what you're cooking. Nice. You do, like, I just want to make sure you heard, <laughs> it starts with a V, right? Oh, no, I keep on hearing the rock. I wasn't sure. I, I, the joke's fine, but the joke like, still stands. I also I also thought like he didn't hear. He no. thinks <laughs> didn't hear it twice. Yeah. Dwayne uh, the Rock Johnson. Uh, Horton. Oh, okay. It does have an R in it. It's just starts yeah, with I'm stunned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Horton. I um, slap my shield with my mace and cast a fourth level spirit guardians and step up to the close i'm trying to get as many of them in the circle as i can okay um that's 15 be, feet yeah it's a 15 foot radius you can get diameter. two of them unless you want to get in the middle of all three of them oh. like if you want to stay on one yeah. side oh no i'll get in the middle of them that's oh, fine. okay that's fine all right, and that's a wisdom. So a wisdom saving throw, uh, DC sixteen. Okay. They do have advantage, which is free knowledge for you, because I'm benevol benevolent. Your kind God King. <laughs> uh, that's a save on the first one, a natural twenty on the second. And a 17 on the third. Okay, so they all make it, so they all only take nine damage. Okay. And their speed is halved. Okay. That is all for me. Jazzy stunned. Rock part do. Is going to multi attack Horton one shot with its beak and one with its talents. Twenty four, and the other one doesn't hit. Four hits. Nine piercing damage from the beak of the rock. I pass my con save. Shabby stunned. Rock part three is going to. You know the thing that birds do when they like poof out their feathers and shake? It's going to do that and release a bunch of spores in the room. And I need everyone to make another constitution saving throw. Even the stun people? Yes. Is it against poison? Because then I get advantage. You you will have advantage. Natural you shall poison. have advantage, sir. Oh. Another nat one. I rolled a nat one, too. Nat 20. Like, yeah. 17. Different die. Yes, uh... Same same deal. Same two people 
save and same <laughs> brutal, uh, brutal. Uh, shabby and jazzy you're poisoned cool and you take nine poison damage at the start of your turn I uh I have great constitution too <laughs> at the start of our turn we'll take that got it okay Oh, I'm sorry. At the start of both of their turns. Yep. They need to make another... Yeah, another wisdom save. Natural 20 on the first one. Oh, those are fucking killer rules. Damn it. Twenty. Well, it's advantage. 21 yeah. and a 20. Okay, they both pass. So they both take 15 damage. Damn, you missed it. Why did they have advantage? Three eights and a six. Because of the stat block. Okay. It's <laughs> a fair uh, reason. That's all you need to say. Yep. Um, the D and D Beyond app blessed me on that damage roll. It sure did. All right. And the three other Vrocks standing outside. It's looking kind of packed in there. Two of them are going to wait outside. One of them's going to make its way in. They're pretty big, right? Yeah, they're large. Yeah. How big is the opening to get into this room? Five feet. Okay. Um, it's going to stand by the door because it can't get much closer. Is that within 15 feet of me? Um, yeah, I'll say so. Sure. He enters the spirit guardians. I think he failed. 16? Yes. All right. He takes 21 damage. Nice. <laughs> All right. These two are going to take the, that. And then this guy is Draco's turn. Draco. Oh, Draco, I, that's me. Um, are those so? There's two outside, and then one just in the doorway. Can I get? I assume I can get those three within a twenty foot cube. You, you, you can get yeah, three of them in a twenty foot cu cube. Yeah, cool. Um, and without getting anyone from my party, correct? No, you would get uh, Horton. Uh, Horton. Okay. I'm doing work up here. Okay. Yeah, okay. I know. All right, cool. Then scratch that. I am going to do my usual then, and I'm going to twin spell. Can I get the two outside the door still without getting Horton? Uh, sure. Cool. I'm going to sp uh, spin it, cast web, second level sorcerer spell. Intent. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to put a 20 foot your... web. 19. Um, I'm going to put a 20 foot web uh, as close as I can to us, but without getting important in it and they are that is a uh it's a deck save deck 16 immediately i'm looking uh conjure sticky web the web fills the webs aren't anchored between two solid masses uh each creature that starts its turn in the webs or enters them during its turn takes a dexterity saving throw and on a failed save the creature is restrained for as long as it remains in the webs until start of turn cool anything uh, else and then th the ceiling's closed like we can't get to the outside yet right in this room we're in correct okay cool then i'm just gonna go back as far away from as everyone else that i can okay and i will uh end my turn there all right back to the top of the round dexterity saving throw is a 13 fail and a wisdom save. Yep. Uh, 20. Passes, takes 9 damage. So it is restrained. Okay. Uh, it can make a strength check. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. It was a... I said dex, right? What did I say? Yes. Okay, yeah. You it was a dex. dex. And then it says a creature restrained by the webs can use its action to make a strength check against my spell save DC to get out as well. Okay. Restrained. It will make its strength save in a second. Let's 
17. Passes. Okay. Horton. All right. I am going to walk, or I'm already in the midst of them. Uh, where did it go? is a 10 foot yeah a 10 foot race fierce and other planes oh that would hit me can i hit two of them in a 10 foot radius yes not centered on me just yes okay just gonna cast a little second level shatter okay bt dub the knoll chewing on the uh, bone still chewing on the bone can I get a con save from them? A 18 on the first and a 13 on the second. The second one fails. I rolled nine damage. So nine for the second, four first. Cool. And then, uh, that's it. That's it. I'm just gonna stand there and wait for their attacks to come at me. So I'm standing in the middle level. Jazzy, you are up. Ooh, and I you take can... nine points of damage. Yes, you take nine points, and um, at the start, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of your turn for poison. End of my turn. Got it. Um, for my turn, I am going to uh, take a two-step sprint. Um, just to clarify, the web spell that's going on, is that in the, the rocks in the room are webbed or the rocks outside of the room are webbed? By the door. The two rocks Got by the door. Cool. I'm going to... Also that, uh, just because I didn't say this earlier, the webs are difficult terrain and slightly yeah. and lightly obscure their area. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my two-step sprint towards uh, one of the other two that are next to Horton mm -hmm. and... With my action, I am going to uh, shove it to make it prone, which, if I'm not mistaken, are contested strength checks. Yeah. Which I'm at a disadvantage for because I'm poisoned. But we'll see. Ooh, still pretty decent. 24 for me. Yeah. Would have been the, better. You shove the Vrock down. Uh, so he is currently prone. Yes. Um. <clears throat> While I do it, I, of course, bellow a loud trumpet roar and uh, slap him in the face, and that's my form of knocking him prone. I just, just take the wind out of him, and I am a powerful build creature, so I can do things to larger creatures. Um, and then my action will be to uh, bellow my trumpet again and summon up a spirit guardians myself. So now, yeah. in addition to the hammers that are flying around, there are also gauntlets flying around, slapping <laughs> rocks all over the place. Nice. Um, this room feels very crowded now, I imagine. <laughs> very, very crowded. And the knoll in the corner is unfazed. Well, the gauntlets aren't slapping him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would imagine I'm now next to Horton, so I don't know how many are in my current sphere. Um, You can get... Two. Okay. Spirit Guardians, Wisdom Save. Yep. Wait, did you... Your action was to push? I'm sorry. I can't do that. I had a different right. spell in mind the whole time, which Were was a you thinking action of spiritual spell, weapon? and then I changed it. Oh, okay. Um, no, I just totally messed up there is all I did, so I no used my deal. action and will not be casting a spell with my bonus action. Okay. Um, I knocked him prone and uh, just blew my trumpet in his face. Okay. It was a it was a power move against the one that screeched at me. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I just did that. Um, the next rock who hasn't screeched is going to screech. Wisdom save, please. Also. Also that. 20. Passes, my damage. So I need a constitution save from everyone. 
18. Pass. 23. Fail again. Fail again as well. Okay, you are <laughs> stunned <laughs> until the end of the Vrock's next turn. Yep. Shabby, you're stunned. Third Vrock. Uh, rolled so many 18s for damage. What is this? And I think there's, I don't remember which one, but I think one more still in the web, right? Yes, yeah. Cool. It's 18 damage if it's full. It fails, so it takes 18. It's like the third 18 D&D Beyond rolled for me. I didn't say the spores go away. Did, hmm. Jazz, did Jazzy get a saving throw for the poison? He already... yeah. Okay. Wait, did I? No, I yeah, didn't do it. At, at, at the end of his turn, I don't think so. No, I didn't. I didn't actually do the... You mentioned and it, you, but I didn't do the roll. And I believe you skipped Shabby because he was stunned. Stunned. He's stunned, yeah. So uh, an 11, so I imagine save. that failed. Because he was also poisoned? Uh, fail, yeah. You also need to take more damage. Yep. Three poison damage. Uh, Shabby, when you're stunned, you can make a constitution save. For the poison? Yes, for the spores. Uh, 13? Uh, fail. So three poison damage. And... Yeah, Horton, you should have made another constitution save for the uh, spores. Because they persist... Yes, correct. 14? That saves, yes. What do I want advantage. this guy to do? I think he's just going to multi-attack. Yeah. Not good. Uh... Beak misses, and the talons is a 19. Horton. I mean, no, it doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, Vrock, the second Vrock in the web needs to make a deck save. And that is 21. That's a save. And... And a wisdom. A wisdom. Thank you. A lot of saves being thrown around. Uh, it's a 24. Passes, takes 11 damage. Okay. Boom. Just whittle them away little by little. Yep, yep. All right. Most of you are going to do that. Draco. What are the two that have taken the least amount of damage so far? Are those the um, ones by the door? Pretty sure I'm the only one that's damaged them so far. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say once toward the western part of the room have not taken, cool. have taken the least. I'm gonna Other than the ones outside. Beautiful. I'm going to twin spell a Blight. At those two on the western mm -hmm. side of the room. And that's a con save of 16. I get advantage. Shit. I didn't realize that. 22. And a 19. Shit. Is that a save or suck or is that a half? Those are half. Um, 
it takes, I believe, on a failed state, half as much on a success. So, yeah. Yeah. Still sucks. Um, rolling my die. Do you want me to roll them individually or together? I don't care how you. All right, I'll just the... roll them once. Uh, thirty-nine halved, then. So, nineteen. Yeah. Sad face. Still good. Yeah, it was just I didn't realize that you had advantage. That was free information that I gave, so it's. So we didn't know that. Oh, but well you didn't really say that. Didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know if you might have been going to the restroom when I first said that. Typing the people. Come on. Um. Okay. The with the web spell, the creature makes a save at the beginning of its or no, it. He made it. Uh. Yeah. It was an action. Yeah, and he made yeah. his his uh, strength save. Okay. Is he still? Did they both stay within the web? Uh, yeah, this guy did because I fucked up. Anyone who starts their turn there, if they're still in the web, they are back in it again, I believe. They make a deck save though, right? Yeah. Twenty one. <laughs> He's good. He's gonna move out of it this time. It's uh. Difficult terrain. That's fine. It's this close quarters. He's going to multi attack Sir Horton. Does this one need to take a wisdom saving throw or did he already do it? Uh, he hasn't yet. Thank you for reminding me. It's a 21. Passes, takes 11 damage. Okay. Beacon Talons at you. Both are going to fail. Now it's your turn, Horton. Oh, I'm just going to give a good oh. old mace smack to the closest one to me. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a 22 to hit. Yes. And then seven non-magical damage. And two thunder. Or okay. lightning. Either. Is that it? Uh, I'm gonna hold on. I believe if I attack, I can shove also with my shield master. His feet are at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I can bonus action shove it if I attack it. So competing cool. strength. Yep. Fail. Hardcore fail. Oh, maybe not. I rolled a seven. Nope. Still, Oof. I failed harder. All right, so he's prone. Okay. And that will be the end of my turn. Jazzy. Done, but I'll roll my poison save. Yep. Fifteen? Yes, saves. Yay, I'm not poisoned. But I'm stunned. All right. Second rock is going to get up and hit Horton with the Beacon Talents. Wisdom save. Yeah, thank you. 18. Passes, 10 damage. Okay. Uh, 22 hits. Uh, who did I say I was going? I meant to say Jazzy. Oh, you said Horton. Yeah, I meant to say Jazzy. So, two hits me. Talons only hit you, beak misses. Fifteen slashing damage, Jazzy. Okay. Shabby, I need a Constitution save. You're stunned, but you can still. Because you didn't make it last time, right? Not 20. Got him. For a 27. Nice. All right. Which one had stunned us? 
they each have a screech. Right. So, Which one stunned us the second time? The second rock. Was there one that went in between me and Jabby? Because I feel like last Agent round Hobbs. I had a turn, then we got stunned, then Shabby was stunned. I think yeah, the second turn one. this time. Okay, so sh right. I don't, but I, yeah, I was done correct. this turn. Yeah, but I think you're he correct. Got his Shabby, your turn. Um, I just take a swing with my great axe. Are you raging? Yes, always. And uh, I already did all the damage. I for my first a twenty-two to hit. Yes. Uh, twenty-three damage. Okay. Clock it, and then I assume a ten misses. Correct. Miss on the second. Okay. All right. Third rock. <laughs> From the sun. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Another stunning screech, so I need all of you to make a con save. Another wisdom save. 24. This is con or wisdom? Con. You, uh, Horton is seven. Okay. Roll That's the a fail on the whiz save, Horton. 23 damage, and I rolled a 17. Okay. <laughs> and that one on the constitution. Holy <laughs> fuck. You and me, bud. You and me. <laughs> I got this, guys. It's cool. I don't and think now, I've rolled one, one for, below a 20 yet. An eight. <laughs> I've rolled, I think I've rolled a, a two ones, another number below six, and two sixes. Like, the sixes just barely don't save. The two next rock failed for Wisdom Horton. Uh, so it takes 20 damage. gonna make a strength save to get out of there it does and it's going to go outside the room draco are they all out of the web yeah um horton what type of attacks have you been doing have you just uh, been beating on him radiant damage no it's just my spirit guardians are okay then persistent. i'm gonna cast haste on shabby Okay. Can you make a con saves? Make a wild magic roll. Natural twenty. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. Wrong. All right. So shabby, you are now hasted. Get an extra attack. Amongst other things. On his next turn, because on... we're stunned again. Oh, yeah. I wish I could boost the uh, con, but yeah, just dex. He just starts vibrating as he's stunned. Uh, Rock at the top of the round is going to hit Horton. Wisdom save. Wisdom save 19. Six damage. Beak, 16 hits you. No. No. Fail, 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 fail. Fail. Horton. Uh... This is not a very big room, right? New. No. Are they all? They're all within thirty feet of me. They're all within fifteen feet. Does thirty with thirty feet encompass the ones outside the room also? Um, they were thirty feet from me. 
it would encompass another another one yolo i am going to designate all of my friends and our invisible oh wait do i have to be able to see them <laughs> each creature you choose within 30 feet of you wait yeah i think you could designate them does, hold on, does this even let me take what about the knoll on the ripple hour each creature you choose oh each creature you choose so i can choose yeah so i'm going to just choose all the rocks that are within 30 feet of me so you're not going to choose the knoll and you're not going to no choose... he's the knoll's been pretty good and our imp friend is our friend yeah it's pretty uncanny that this knoll is just so focused on yeah yeah he's done he's no very wrong. stupid obviously <laughs> um all right, and what did you say? I am, I'm doing, it's a fifth level destructive wave. Okay, does it go through walls? Uh, it doesn't say it doesn't go through walls. So, so you strike the ground, creating a burst of divine energy that ripples outward from you. Each creature you choose within 30 feet of you must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 5d6 thunder damage as well as 5d6 radiant or necrotic damage and be knocked prone. A creature uh, sure. succeeds on its saving throw. Takes we'll half say it goes through walls. So four need to make a con save, right? Yeah. First one. Why did I scroll down so far? Uh, 14. Fail. 20. Pass. 20. Pass. 19. Pass. First one. Okay. Fails. So it is 18 thunder, mm -hmm. 17 radiant. So 35 total. Okay, he's dead. And the others? Uh, half, half that? Yeah, so seven, 17 all of them? Yeah. Whoops. And that be six of its radiant if it matters or no eight of its radiant if it matters okay anything else uh no jazzy done oh yeah rock is going to wisdom save Wisdom save. A 24. Pass takes 10 damage. 10. All right. It's going to Beacon Talon you. A 21 and a 20. The 21 just hits. Nice. 12 piercing damage from the beak. Finding a weak spot near armor. Con save. 11. Just made it. Nice. Shabby, you're stunned. Rock 3. Rock 3. Agent Hobbs. <laughs> How many rock characters can you name? I don't I don't know what to say to that one. Uh, That's the only one I can think of, I think. Like, what other movies is he in? Failed his wisdom save, uh, Horton. He takes. He's basically dead. He takes 10 damage. Yeah, he's dead. That was a really low roll. <laughs> he's dead. This Vrock. The one in Jumanji? <laughs> that movie hasn't even oh no Jungle Cruise Jungle Cruise was the one I was thinking of uh, <laughs> that hasn't come out yet Wisdom Uh it's no longer in your Ooh, sphere great. it's going to do that that guy's going to do that Draco uh, I'm going to Cast Chaos. Is there one still in front of Horton, or are those both out? Yeah, there's just one. Cool. Cast Chaos Bolt in at the one in front of Horton. Mm-hmm. 
house point. Tw 23. Yep. Perfect. Roll your wild magic. No. We suck. One of these days, just one of these days. Well, if I can, if you can not hit me on my con saves, I can use Tides of Chaos, but I keep rolling like 20 something. <laughs> And then that works with <coughs> ouch that two and one and a three. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna cast I'm gonna do acid damage, uh -huh. and that's seven damage. You kill it. Woot. No more rocks in the room. Cool. Well, y'all are bloody useless. I did a little damage. Yeah, that's what I said. What do you guys do? We're at uh, Horton. There's nobody else. Are, are we still in initiative? Are they coming after We're us? We're still in the initiative until I find out what you guys are going to do. You're still in the room. All right. Uh, I did not remember to designate this jackal as friendly for my spirit guardians. So if we walk backwards, we might have to kill it because I'm not turning it off. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. What do you do? Are we, well, uh, at masking. Do you, do? You, uh, you walk backwards? I get as close to the jackal as I can without encircling it with the spirit guardians and see what my party does. But I say that out loud that, like, we might, I'm going to have to fight this thing if we go through here. Yeah, you I can't go into the back room where you found the rods, but you, you can avoid yeah in a very awkward way you're hugging a wall that's fine that's it what's everyone else doing i run back and start throwing rods in my pack okay how many rods are there nine, nine. how big are these oh, rods are nine okay yeah i throw some rods in my bag they are i broke I know they're three pounds. Three pounds. Thank you. Cool. I guess I'll take some rods as well. C cool. Three, now what? Well, if you were last in the initiative order, then uh, Shabby and I definitely just looted the shit out of the safe. Then there's <laughs> no rods with, left uh, for me. You go up with Horton and watch for rocks. we Will do. <laughs> I'm backing up. I'm not going forward. I was... Oh. Assuming we would leave the way we came. I thought that was through the rocks. Oh, I thought they came from ahead of us. They came oh, from they? the large room that you hadn't explored yet. There's more but than they, half was of open, this floor. Right? Yeah, more yeah. than half of this floor has yet to be explored. Yeah, so they came from where we came from. We passed the room that they came in. So I guess, uh, if I'm not going back, I guess I'm staying with Horton, so... On my turn, I'm going to just ready another Chaos Bolt the second I see one of these rocks. Yep. Six seconds passes and nothing happens. Do you guys want to kill the Jackal or not? Who cares? Let's... Nah, it's been fine. Why do we want to kill the Jackal? I'll turn off my Spirit Guardians so no! go past the Jackal. Let it die. Uh, you need to cross the hallway to go back down the chute that you came up. Oh, and that's uh, where the jackal was? No. No, okay. No. You crossed the hallway from where you came into yeah. this room with the jackal and then an, a, a small like second room connected to the jackal room. Can I get yeah. the jackals or does it make it back to my turn at all or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're um, on initiative now. I'm going to use it's before did Horton did you, you didn't already pull your spirit guardians down, did you? I just did. Fuck. Yeah, you did. Okay, never mind. I was going to try to well, leave right uh, away. Just as a suggestion, instead of going down the inside, we could just make a dash for it out of that big hole we walked past. Just fly out. I like this plan. Are you a... Can we all fly? Two of us can. I can't fly. I can carry you. I've done it before. <laughs> yeah, be but fine. I, I hate it so much. If you get more... <laughs> trunk slime on me i swear to jehovah actually carrying jehovah. my carrying capacity <laughs> what the fuck 
How? Oh no, I can only carry like 80 pounds. I can drag or lift, but I can only carry 80 pounds. So I won't probably be able to carry any of you. Shabby, you can't fly, can you? Sadly, I cannot. Hmm. I can you can't rage. Fly. I can. I can banish Dave again. <laughs> No, 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 that won't. I'm joking. At this time, you start hearing the roar of infernal machines approaching. We need to get out of here very soon. Well, we can't jump. We we have to go back. Like we don't. What would happen if we? What would happen if I'm holding someone that's more than my carrying capacity, and it's a like a drag? Can I just like slowly float down, or is it? Is that just a no go? Float with what? Like so, I can so I can f my carrying I'd make capacity. You make a strength say uh, strength check. Okay, so my weight, even though my carrying capacity is 120 and I have like 70 pounds of stuff on me, would Draco know it's? I might be able to carry the lightest one. You know that's a very risky. Got it. Won't do that. Like you could possibly do it, but it's not like. I have a negative one strength. Risk. Not gonna happen. How the machines approach and they turn we? off. How high up are we in the ship? <laughs> uh, let me look back through. Eighty feet off the ground. Eighty feet. Um, I say, no time to waste, boys. I'll take the two big ones. Let's go, small flying thing. I can't remember name. Draco. Let's go, Draco. <laughs> <laughs> um, I click my heels. Um, with my three appendages, my trunk and two arms, I grab Horton and Shabby as best I can and drag fly them out the side. Okay. I will try as to, I'm, as I'm going towards the outside, I'm telling both of you like, Oh, surely you won't die. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm going to try to help you just in case. Good call. <clears throat> just in case. So the two flyers are going to try to carry the other two and trust yeah, you're, that you're the moving is following. Very slowly. <clears throat> That's fine. <laughs> slowly is fine. I just need to get out, <laughs> out and slightly away, and then we can try to get away. <laughs> you're going to go out where the rocks came in in the big open? That's my plan. Okay. 80 feet directly below you. Mm -hmm. You see a demon grinder and two... Where did I put that? See a demon grinder and... and an organ grinder? Nope. Definitely, I know that's not it. <laughs> um, a demon grinder. Where the fuck? <laughs> a demon grinder and the two motorcycle ones. Hmm. And uh, you see uh, two Kenku, one on each of the motorcycle infernal machines. And you see a flaming green skull at the helm of the demon grinder using Is it mage. Chaka? And... Yeah, I mean. Do, do our, yeah, ca our don't characters know. don't know them, though? Your character wouldn't know that, but yes, Dave, it is. Nice. Uh, and uh, you see the flaming green skull, and you see six mad caps and three red caps on the demon defender as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so flying out of them, oh, more birds, no more birds. Um, and, and it doesn't stop me, I mean, I still continue to try to fly out with the assistance of Draco carrying you see the, the rocks two. flying higher above you. So you're kind of like in between them. Right. Which is exactly fine. I would like to try and go out rather than above them or down. Okay. All right. <laughs> I meant to do it. <laughs> How All close right. are they flying to us? All part like are they just are they just circling or do they clearly like the locked onto us? Oh the rocks are probably like fifty feet away. And they're locked onto us or they're just kind of doing their own thing? They're circling, keeping your distance but watching you. Okay. A couple of them are pretty beat up, right? Or just one? One of them is. One of them is. Um, 
from the green flame skull uh, as you're flying. Let's just roll initiative. Forget it. <laughs> but our other characters were so friendly with them. Oh, that's a cleric initiative. I rolled a four. Eleven. Ten. Fourteen. Misclick. Hit me with the initiatives again. I'm sorry. Ten. Jazzy. Ten. Horton. Four. 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 Fourteen. Eleven. Shab. Fourteen. Draco. Uh... Okay. Flame Skull is going to go first. How close are you flying to uh, Sir Jazzy? Draco? Um, I'm helping him hold these guys up, so I guess I'm okay. extremely close. From the Flame Skull, you as human beings know to be Barnabas that you helped. Sends a fireball at you guys. Of course he does. As it's coming at us, I'm going to be like, point me at it! I do. <laughs> um, I hold him up as a shield. Oh, he holds <laughs> his shield up as a shield. I, like, crouch as much as I can behind my shield. <laughs> your huge elephant dog. form behind you, not blocked at all by your tiny shield. Uh, okay. So... I need dexterity saving throws, and since you're restrained, I don't know what to call you guys. Grappled? Well, we're kind of just like holding... Their arms aren't... I guess we... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how how an elephant holds on to things. I would call it encumbered more than anything. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out... I don't out know if that's a thing in 5 I don't think it is. Fuck it, I don't want to figure it out. Just do a normal deck save. Me? We got a, a natural 20 for 20. I'm gonna we're use all my... doing deck saves, even though we're being carried? I'm using my Tides of Chaos to yep. gain advantage. Okay, nice. Whew! 22, I needed that. 16 for me. 15. I think you all passed. But I still need to roll. And feel free. Yeah. Whenever you're ready to have me roll on the map if you want. I'm just gonna do the it's a ten D ten thousand. Oh yeah, that's right. Unless you want to pull up a D10,000 nope. roller. All you. Uh, you each take 17 fire damage from the fireball. I take none because of shield master. Yeah. Um, the save was 17 fire damage? Yeah, when you saved, yeah. Okay, I have, have, I have resistance have. to fire, so I'm going to have that again. Have that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pulling up. Does the explosion like propel us? Like, ah, as we fly through the air? Mm. Mm, not really. I mean, it propels you. If anything, it propels you closer to the rocks. Okay. All right. Um. 5,474. It's <laughs> a good one. Um, you can't see or hear magical creatures for roll 2d6. Four. 
Four days. Oh, crap. Like the flame skull disappears. <laughs> all the creatures down there disappear. Is this all of us or just me? Just you. <laughs> That's just not on us. Don't put that shit on us. Holy Don't shit! Put... <laughs> Holy fuck! The rocks disappear. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Good job. Go wow, magic! It got a lot more quiet, too, because the rocks are no longer screeching and don't have angry madcaps and redcaps hurling obscenities <laughs> at you. So there's benefits. I don't see a downside. This is, this is great. This is, this this is, is like, awesome. This is like the ultimate form of denial. Uh, <laughs> like you could be in... You know, people who get into extreme denial about incredible shit just because so they don't have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. uh, and even if it's really harmful for them, uh, this is basically the magic version. All right, Flame School's done. Draco, you're next. Uh, did you guys do something? Where'd everyone go? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I you would know that, that oh, it, you know what I it would? was from. Okay. Yeah, I would feel like you would know. Uh, unless you unless you want to make it like a character trait that you don't know. I mean, I figured the whole wild magic thing, like, it's just unknown. Like, but I guess... Because what I, like... I think you've In the game, when a wild magic surge happens, I guess I feel it, right? Like, something bad happened, and I would have experienced it before. We're good, yeah. Okay, cool. So, like, or actually, like our last game, I felt it. Yeah. So, and, like, all of a sudden, yeah. I smelled this stuff. Uh, mm, guys, I, I think I did something, um... Can you still see them? Because I can't. Yeah. And right there. Oh crap! And shield I, is smoking. I'm going to cast a. Uh, I'm just going to cast a first level uh, chaos bolt just in the general direction that I saw the flaming skull. Do it at disadvantage. And because I got my um, chaos bullshit. Chaos back i guess i get advantage if i use it again sure so uh does that mean i get to roll on the table again yeah yep. 13 if plus you if you want to 13 plus 8 so i have uh, no self-control yeah. are you kidding me 22 that hits no, the uh, flame school yeah cool <laughs> Give um, damage and then we'll roll the magic surge that's gonna be uh five plus eight, thirteen, and then I'm gonna designate it as because it's a five <laughs> lightning damage. Okay. Oh god, what happened now? <laughs> this character's gonna bite me in the ass, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. How much damage was it? Uh, eight plus five, thirteen. Okay. Lightning damage, I think I said. Yeah. Is there, like, an active condition for, like, you got fucked? No, there isn't. <laughs> I mean, there's conditions that, I mean, no, being I stunned is, yeah. No, I meant the condition for not being able to see anything. Magical. I was joking. Anyways. You're kind of blinded? No. Yeah, I guess so. I'll go with that. All right. Congratulations. You rolled 6,234. Woohoo! And, uh... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all of your clothing disappears, <laughs> leaving a fig leaf covering your infernal genitals. Oh. <laughs> your clothes, sir. Oh, boy. So are you helping to carry Horton, or are you helping to carry Shabby? <laughs> one is on each side of me i probably would be helping you carry uh the lighter one in case you drop need to drop one that's the one i grabbed so who's lighter shabby shabby yeah, i'm helping carry heavy 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 armor so i'm like now like barely wearing anything holding shabby and shabby's pretty big too He's, yeah i uh, imagine you have to like be fair hugging guy. him <laughs> i want to say yeah, shabby's like anything, 220 yeah. you know Brokeback Mountain? I wouldn't go that far, but... 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Any any other? No, I think I'm. I, th I think I'm done with the wild magic for his turn. Okay. Well, keep it going. What else could happen? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see my next action. Uh, okay. A madcap is going to hurl an obscenity at you. The group of you. I don't hear it. Correct. Shabby, it's your turn. Anything you would like to do while being held by this creature? Held by... I'm held by... Uh, yeah, the like creature Draco. Draco. Oh. Okay. A mostly naked Draco. And me. We're both dead. Can't do anything, so... All right. Nothing to do. Uh, red caps. That's just the way combat's going. Do you want to admire day. anything? This red <laughs> naked, like this red naked looking tiefling, is now, you know, close to you. I could use my javelin of lightning, but then I'll never get it back. Mm. Do you want to? Bro. No. Okay. Uh, a red cap's turn is going to curse at you, similarly to the mad cap. And in Sylvan, though, any of you speak Sylvan? Nope. No. Okay. Sir Jazzy. I'm going to angrily trumpet back at the Flame Skull and his companions, and I will cast slow on all of them. Well, not all of them. On the two Kenku, the Flame Skull, and, his, and three other red, red what? or madcaps. It's it is the, a is wisdom there, saving throw. It's a radius, or is 40 it forty foot cube? I assumed I could get six of them in a forty foot cube, but maybe not. I guess that yeah, was an assumption. Sure. Uh, wisdom, you said. It's a wisdom save. Yep. <laughs> really centered on uh, the main target is the flame skull. <laughs> Fifteen for the flame Fail. skull. He is failed. Minus two penalty to AC and deck saving throws. It cannot use reactions. It can only use an action or bonus, but not both. Um, and it cannot make more than one melee ranged attack. Here's the thing I really wanted, though. If it attempts to cast a spell with a casting time of one action, roll a d20. On an 11 or higher, the spell doesn't take effect until the creature's next turn. And the creature must use its action on that turn as well to complete the spell. Mm -hmm. If it can't, the spell is wasted. Mm-hmm. No more fireballs. <laughs> and then I continue to fly in the direction I was flying. Okay. How long can you fly for? Two hours? Four hours. Four hours? And I haven't really used it much since our last like long rest before it came in the ship, so I assume they're recharged. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm not going to roll for each of the mad caps and red caps. I'm just going to roll for. That's fine. One. They pass. Okie dokie. They can keep slinging obscenities at us. Okay. Next mad cap. Let's check this real quick. Demon grinder. Demon what? grinder. What demon grinder? Demon grinder. You can see the demon grinder. Oh, I just can't see anyone on it. <laughs> Creatures, yeah. Uh, one of the madcaps is going to use the harpoon station to shoot at you guys. Uh, three is not going to do it. Three. Next one's going to do the same. Does 17 hit you, uh, Jazzy? No, sir. Okay. And these guys don't have anything to shoot. Chucka and Clonk are going to run inside the 
ship. Fortune, any they're slow. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, no, they didn't. So they're gonna run slowly. Cool. Uh, Horton. Uh, can are the demon grinder and any of the rest are all motorcycles, right? Or the two the motorcycles, grinder? yeah. Are any of the motorcycles within twenty feet of the demon grinder? Yes. All right, I'm going to ice storm, uh, twenty foot radius. What does it do? It creates a forty foot high cylinder centered on a point uh, within range, which is three hundred feet. Each creature in the cylinder must make a dex saving throw. A creature takes 2d8 bludgeoning damage and 46 cold damage on a failed save or half as much. Oh, I know what I'm it's a sex soul. Okay. So large chunks of ice pound the ground. Flame school fails. All the madcaps and redcaps fail. Everyone fails. 40. It's so much better when you're, when you have advantage on magical saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> you save so often. It's. Uh, I kid oh. you not. Those rocks when I was rolling for those spiritual guardians, every single time it would be a one or a two, and then like a good I'm, one. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they take a total of thirty damage. Okay. And it's. Uh difficult terrain as there's like large chunks of ice and rock on the floor now. All right. I don't know if the vehicles took any. I was really hoping to damage the vehicles was my main oh. goal. So they couldn't chase us as well. Okay. Let me see on there. Uh -oh. Oh, they all had, a bunch of them had disadvantage. I mean, they failed, so it didn't matter. But slow gives them disadvantage on tax mm -hmm, saves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just remembered. Yeah, you did damage the vehicles. Nice. Nice work. Did we mishap them? No. Wait, what was the uh, total again? 30. Oh. I stand corrected. That's what I was hoping for. It's a good good old mishap. <gasps> Don't fall. <laughs> okay. Uh, the furnaces on the vehicles erupt uh, as some reaction between the heat and the cold cause a gout of soul and heat energy to spew out of the furnaces. So, nice. you think you damaged it. Sweet. That was the demon grinder or one of the motorcycles? Both of them. All of them. Awesome. Um, Devil's Ride. I finally found what they were doing. That's what it's called. I knew it was somewhere. I just couldn't find it. Yeah, it's a lot of scrolling you had to do for that one. The madcaps are now cowering in and hiding. Yeah, what's up, guys? Keep talking shit. <laughs> 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 uh, um, the flame skull. <laughs> You're moving so goddamn slowly through the air. You know we are. So slow. <laughs> it's like just imagine being on the ground and seeing like. <laughs> Someone just flying like this. Yep. But he's also really slow right now. Yeah. But it's still <laughs> comical that you're like trying to Very. get away and just like your little wing <laughs> boots are going. <laughs> little, boots. <laughs> little dragon wing boots. They're trying so hard. You've got a naked tiefling <laughs> with a piggy who can't see anyone down there. Uh <laughs> Uh, the flame school is going to cast blur, but that's going to try two... to cast blur. Well, I don't yeah. know. Is that a bonus action or an action? It's going to take two rounds. 
And the rest of them aren't going to do much because they got fucked up. And we're going to say you're out of initiative. Uh, and we'll pick it up with the oh, rock no. still We'll see how we'll long pick it up they... with what was that? With the rock still circling above, so we'll see if they... Mm -hmm. Unless you guys want to find out what happens with them. Yeah. Of course mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I could wait if you want to wait. <laughs> Just throw it. We can wait. There. We can wait. That's fine. Because the Mad Maggie's crew who came here to scavenge now just want to scavenge the 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 wreck. Not mm -hmm. you guys were a meal that was too. Their eyes were too big for their stomachs. In yeah, whatever. Way. That was my hope of the slow. Just, be like, just yeah. ignore us. We're not worth it. Yeah, and then a massive fucking ice storm. Yeah, <laughs> that was the big thing. I couldn't do that. I think they they realized they realized the the bonus points they would have gotten from Maggie aren't worth the trouble. Most of their deaths, yeah. <laughs> several vehicle problems. Yep, those they um, got anyway. We will pick it up next time, next Monday, with rock circling. The Vrocks circling, and Dave will have a full Excel spreadsheet of puns to use. It's going to get on and IMDb. Dra and Draco Rock will Johnson. be. <laughs> yeah. Draco will be looking for clothes. Obviously, not from any magical creatures. Yeah. Yeah. You take a D20 shrinkage damage. <laughs> Imagine if that would have happened to, like, Horton. Yeah, that would have been a problem in these fights. Does it affect like magical armor and everything too? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Did my mage armor is still up though, right? Does it? It doesn't require any clothing. Oh, no, it's magical. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not tied to your. <gasps> my cloak is gone. Yeah, I mean it's part of your clothing. Like, is it gone what? indefinitely? What's your cloak? Oh no! <laughs> it's a cloak, it it's like. it's a cloak of protection. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone right now. The eyes say it all. Certainly gone right now. Hey, wild magic, man! It's fun. Oh no! <laughs> there goes my plus Turns one out to bad my. Bad things happen sometimes. That th there goes my plus one to my bonus AC, my AC and my savings throws. Yeah. I had. I had already pre-rolled the next one, which was 8,759. Ooh, that's a good one. All within 50 yards, preach, that's all of you guys, preach a ridiculous abstinence-only policy. <laughs> <laughs> just so, imagine all of oh. you just start, start talking about the benefits of well, At least we'll all be in agreement. So random. Horton is preaching from the basis of, of, of uh, his god, and Jazzy is preaching from his god's standpoint uh cool it'd be, it'd be rough to come up with the way thor would be preaching abstinence i feel like <laughs> thor would be a lot easier must keep the hammer put away <laughs> only bring the thunder when you are betrothed you like only bring one. the boom boom <laughs> no boom boom before <laughs> before uh ceremony uh yeah cool thanks guys uh do you guys have anything to uh to uh plug or anything no no okay i do uh fridays at 3 p.m pacific time i play in a star wars game uh on roll for change on twitch and that's a fun time we play using the fate system and um Weirdly enough, the party is about to assault a a palace of a hut. Uh, like, and I liken it to when you guys assaulted the stronghold. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, it 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 should go really well for you. For yeah. Experience. yeah. <laughs> Only good things can happen. The Great shitty plan. thing is, I'm playing like just a cocksure idiot uh, of a gunslinger character so well, i don't he's... know what that's like 
<laughs> so he's basically so going, you're the one being like guys no we should do this <laughs> yes well also his sister is be, is one of the slaves of the hut like at one of those dancing uh oh so you guys had a reason we had no reason at <laughs> that's all that's a fair point that's a fair point that's a fair point <laughs> i mean laziness is a reason laziness <laughs> is you. a reason Thank i you. told them greed the story and they were like why did they want to do it and i said to save three soul coins they laughed <laughs> Uh, that was good. Um, Cheap, cheapness. <laughs> cheap. They didn't want to pay. Stinginess. Yeah, and uh, confidence. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. So I play in that game. 3 p.m. Pacific Friday. Roll for change, and I may start uh, streaming this AI dungeon thing, which is like a text adventure with this advanced AI thing it's really trippy um i'll stream that on twitch.tv slash what the intera bang so um i tried it out and uh it's a text adventure game so i got in an argument with a magical book the tome of shadows it was like a who's on first argument it's it's pretty cool anyways um yeah nothing else We'll see you next week. Be good to yourselves. Be good to others. And we'll see you later.